This is your Prabhakar and welcome to our channel Dawn of Chemistry. In the previous video, I have explained about the what is the solubility product and how to find the solubility. In this video, let us discuss about the what is common ion effect, what is common ion effect, how to find solubility in presence of a common ion. Let us see the things common ion effect the name itself indicates what is this common ion effect some in a state level examinations directly in which of the following reaction or in which of the following combination you can expect common ion effect they will ask you let us take ch3coh which will dissociate as ch3co minus and x plus ch3coo na that dissociate as CH3CO minus and then Na plus and the other one NH4OH that dissociate as NH4 plus plus OH minus NH4Cl that dissociate as NH4 plus plus Cl minus welcome and another one is H2S that dissociate as 2H plus plus H2 minus HCl that will dissociate as H plus and then Cl minus. If you observe the three reactions, one thing you can observe here this is a reversible, this is irreversible, this is reversible, this is irreversible, this is reversible, this is irreversible. So this is a weak electrolyte and this is a strong electrolyte. This is a weak electrolyte and this is a strong electrolyte. This is a weak electrolyte and this is a strong electrolyte so whenever there is a combination of weak electrolyte and then strong electrolyte then this common ion effect happens so see common ion effect so the effect which is arised because of a common ion so let us see the definition of this thing this is a reversible reaction when you increase the product's concentration means reversible reaction takes place that means the equilibrium moves in the backward direction here also if you add a common ion equilibrium moves in the backward direction and here also if you add a common ion equilibrium moves in the backward direction so see the phenomena of decrease in the dissociation of a weak electrolyte by the addition of a strong electrolyte which is having common ion with it is called common ion effect so see the statement clearly defines this so the phenomena of decrease in the dissociation of a weak electrolyte this is the weak electrolyte its dissociation decreases the phenomena of decrease in the dissociation of a weak electrolyte by the addition of a strong electrolyte which is having common ion with it. If there is no common ion means there is no change in the solubility but if there is a common ion means there will be decrease in the dissociation of this. This phenomena is called as the common ion effect. Let us say when AgCl dissolved in water it will dissociate into Ag plus and Cl minus. It will be having solubility in water. If you dissolve the same AgCl in presence of A NaCl which will be having more solubility because of common ion the solubility is less. Here there is no common ion so solubility is more. So 
solubility in presence of water is greater than solubility in presence of NaCl will come in the same way these things will be working in the group analysis of cations this is the best example you can study about the second group reagent is H2S in presence of HCl will come so whenever you add this H2S in presence of HCl means the H plus ions will decrease the concentration of sulfide ions so only second group cations are precipitated fourth group cations are stopped because fourth group cation solubility product is maximum for this solubility product is minimum I will explain these applications in a different video that is the thing regarding this common ion effect and the things regarding this common ion effect let us find the solubility of a particular salt in presence of a common ion let us take these examples salt a b a plus plus b minus BP gives this is a reversible B minus PB P plus and B minus AB salt gives A plus and B minus PB2 gives P2 plus and 2B minus AB salt in presence of A plus and B minus Pb3 gives P3 plus and then Pb minus 4. Observe here carefully. One anion in presence of one anion salt, one anion in presence of 2 anions salt, 1 anion in presence of 3 anions salt. Let us see concentration of this is C. This will be C and this will be C. This will be C means this will be C and this will be 2C. Here the concentration of this is C means this concentration is C, this concentration is 3C. If the solubility of AB is S, concentration of A is S, concentration of B is S. If its solubility is S, solubility of A is S, B is also S. Here also same thing. If solubility of AB is S means concentration of A will be S and concentration of B minus will be S. If you write the solubility product, KSP is equals to A plus concentration into B minus concentration. B minus concentration is equals to S plus C. So, S into S plus C. S is very 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 small compared to the C. So S plus C equals to C. So see, in presence of a common ion, in presence of a common ion, the concentration of common ion is considered coming from strong electrolyte this is the very very important exception you have to understand whenever you are adding any weak electrolyte in presence of a common ion the concentration of common ion is considered to be coming from the strong electrolyte completely so you can write it as S into C. So S is equals to KSP by C. Finished. For this thing, what you can write? KSP is equals to A plus into B minus. So S into S plus 2C. So S into 2C. KSP is equals to sorry. S is equals to KSP by 2C. For this thing, S is equals to KSP by 3C will come. Like this, you can easily understand things regarding this common ion effect when the electrolyte is having polyions. If, if 
weak electrolyte is having multi ions means what to do let us take ab2 salt in presence of ab ab2 and then ab3 ab3 salt in presence of ab ab2 and then ab3 how to do this thing means see let us take concentration is c c c so concentration of b minus let us take pb here then it will be meaningful pb3 because the common ions can be cation and can be anion there is no problem in that case so concentration of b will be c concentration of b will be 2c concentration of b will be 3c what is the solubility product ksp equals to concentration of a into concentration of b minus whole square so that's why s into c square common this is thing and this one it is s into 2c whole square for this thing s into 3c whole square so s is equals to ksp by c square S is equals to KSP by C square. S is equals to KSP by 2C square. In this case, KSP by 3C square. In this case, KSP is equals to concentration of A into concentration of B minus whole cube. Here, concentration of B is equals to C. Concentration of B equals to 2C. Concentration of B equals to 3C. So that's why it will be S into C whole cube. S into 2C whole cube. S into 3C whole cube. So S is equals to KSP by C cube. KSP by 2C whole cube. ksp by 3c whole cube come like this you can identify the solubility of a particular compound in presence of a common ion here in all cases you see the cations are same if cations are changing how to do means see carefully let us take the solubility of ab salt in p2b in p2b3 see variation is present so here you see ab ksp is equals to concentration is c and cu type concentration of a plus and concentration of b minus welcome a to b salt of a to b in this case so here let us take solubility is as means concentration of a will be 2s and concentration of b will be s here concentration of b will be c here concentration of b will be 3c so ksp is equals to concentration of a plus whole square and b 2 minus will come concentration of a plus whole square and b 2 minus so s square b 2 plus in this case it will be c will come in this case a plus whole square into b means s whole square into 3c so s is equals to root over ksp by c s is equals to root over ksp by 3c will come like this whatever the component you take first you should write the solubility product for the salt and you should take common ion concentration as it is completely coming from the strong electrolyte and you should substitute and you have to do the problem in advanced examinations in multiple answer questions they will ask you this kind of question so number of derivations you can get for different different kind of salt here i have taken a general form of salt but there they will give you some specific salts and they will be asking you 
to do the problems like this we can study about the what is the solubility product and how to identify solubility of a particular salt in presence of a common ion hope you understood this thing don't forget to like the video and share the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates thank you